In today's tutorial, we're going to discuss how to prepare an object in Inkscape to be laser cut. And I'm really getting it ready to be laser cut on an epilogue laser. So depending on what type of laser cutter and engraving you're using, you may have a different experience or different settings. So here we go. So if you look at my Batman cutout, I've got my cut line defined at one thousandths of an inch. I've got my Batman logo centered vertically and horizontally. And let me zoom out using the minus button. I know you can't see the cut line anymore, but you can see where it is on the sheet of material. The problem is, if I drop this file as is into the epilogue laser cutter, it will be difficult for me to place the start point of the laser exactly where I want it. And then I may end up wasting material because I end up printing in the middle of a nice sheet of material. So here's how we're going to resolve that. I'm going to zoom back in. I'm going to click on the cut line itself. And then I'm going to go up to File, down to Document Properties. And stay with me, friends. I'm looking at the center portion here under Custom Size. The first thing I need to do for my preferences is to change the units from millimeters to inches. If you like millimeters, stick with them, but this is how we're going to work it in my class. Then I'm going to switch to Resize Page to Content, hit the little plus to drop it down, and I'm going to change all four of these margins to 0.1. So the top, left, bottom, and right have to be all one tenth of an inch, 0.1. Watch what happens when I click the big button that says Resize Page to Drawing or Selection. Click, wait, close, and now that document that was once 8.5 by 11, if I zoom back out, you can see it has shrunk to fit perfectly the image that I want to cut. So now we're in the final stages. I've resized the document so that it has a good margin on all four sides. And if you're in one of my classes, I really want to emphasize this. Make sure there is a buffer of one tenth of an inch all the way around. The reason why is simple. If the margins looked like this, I'm going to take out the margin on the left and right side. Don't do this. Learn from my mistakes. So see how there's only a margin on the top and bottom. If the margins look like this on the left and right side, the laser cutter will not cut the left or right side because it can't register the cut line. So friends, don't do that. Have a nice buffer. Okay, last step. I need this as a PDF in order for me to print it. So you want to probably save this twice. The first time, I want you to save it as an SVG file. So we're going to make sure that we're on Inkscape.svg, Mac or Windows, it doesn't matter. Give it a catchy name, like Batman Keychain and save it as an SVG. By using SVG, it allows you to come in and re-edit the individual elements of your design. So I'm going to save that. But the one you're going to print, the one you're going to email or give to me for the epilogue laser has to be a PDF. So go to File, Save As, change your file format to PDF, and you're going to have to look for it, it says portable document format. Save it. You can keep the file name the same and click save. If you get this window, leave it as is, click OK, and your PDF is now ready to give to me or to put to work on the epilogue laser cutter and engraver. Any questions, please put them in the comments down below and have a great day.